All right, so I am in a buy nothing group um, that's local to me, and someone was giving away bags of sheets that they didn't want. And I thought that was a perfect opportunity for receiving free fabric, so I commented and I was able to pick it up. So I picked out these two sheets from that group because the colors look good together. And what we're gonna do is make this little dress sketch that I made. I did order some lace from Amazon because I didn't think I would have enough of any lace that I have to make like decorative edging um, for details on it. So I did order it for $10. It should be like 22 yards. That'll be coming to me. And I'm not using this whole pattern. I'm just gonna use the top to uh, because like look at the lines. This is perfect for making a gunny sacks top. I'm just going to um, copy the front part and I'll make the front a little pointed just like in a lot of the gunny sacks dresses. And I think this is going to be really cute. Right now my plan is to have the white with the blue flowers at the center front and the bottom ruffle. And then for the plain blue to be for like the sides in the back of the dress and the skirt portion. I have not decided if I want the sleeves to be the blue or the white. I might be leaning toward the white, but we'll see. So yesterday I cut out all of the pieces for the bodice. I think the side pieces I cut a little bit too long, but that's okay. As long as they're not too short, that's all right. Um, so there's a front piece, there's the side fronts, side backs, and then the back piece. And I thought I was filming when I cut out this, but then um, the, fir the first piece of the center front, but I forgot to hit record. So um, now it's time to say hello to Princess. Hi, baby. Yeah. You're a pretty girl. Yeah. And I did cut out two pieces um, of each because one will be the lining and one will be the outer fabric. All right, so this is the current bodice. I have the two pieces together and I turned in the edges and I just tucked them in and I'm gonna sew that down. There, this will be covered by like a plain white trim. So the stitching isn't really gonna show, but I'm gonna sew around the edges so that the bodice pieces will be together. All right, so I've basically finished putting my bodice together and I really need to do the trim before I can do, attach the skirt at least. Maybe I'll make the skirt in the meantime, because I did order some lace trim to use along edges, but it's not coming till Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So I went through my things and I did find this one. I'm thinking I could cut it in half and then use the scalloped edge like this. And then I would use, um, gunny sacks dresses have like a lot of trim like this where they have like the scallop lace and then they also have like a, a satin kind of ribbon over it. So I might use this and just use the lace that I ordered on another project. So this is what I am thinking. I could start on the skirt. Um, but I think I shouldn't attach it though until I have the, the trims on the bodice. Hmm. Decisions. So I just cut out a rectangle piece of fabric that'll be the top part of my skirt and I'm going to also do a bottom ruffle out of the white fabric. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is just hem all of the edges and I guess then I'll work on the ruffle. So my bodice is here. The lace should arrive today. This is the top panel of the skirt. 
And now I need to cut out the ruffle for the bottom of the skirt. And these guys, another foster is going to pick them up so that she can take them to their appointment tomorrow to get spayed so they will both be available for adoption soon when they heal up. And yeah, so that's good. Time to work on a ruffle. All right, so here is our current situation. The bodice, I have half of the ruffle sewn and then the other half still needs to be sewn. And then I do need to hem the bottom. Okay, so it is Thursday and I completely deconstructed the dress because the bodice was too loose. I needed to make it smaller and then I wanted to like reset the ruffle and everything. Um, so I completely tore it apart and now I'm putting it back together. Right now I'm working on gathering the ruffle again. Okay, so I have the bodice pinned to the skirt, and I am just gonna do some sewing magic, and suddenly this will be done. And magically sewn together, ta-da! Okay, so I haven't done the sleeves yet, and I do want sleeves on this, so I do need to um, cut them out and make them. <laughs> Uh, but I do really like the dress. It's turning out super cute so far. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. So it is Tuesday and I'm working on this Gunny Sacks inspired dress again. And it looks like I'm going to turn these into f like butterfly sleeves. I did have them full length with a cuff at the end, but I tried it on and I just didn't like it. So I cut it off. I kept shortening the sleeves and then I was thinking it would be like an elbow length puffed sleeve. But I tried it on before gathering it and I kind of liked the... Um, how it looked like a butterfly sleeve with it being a puff sleeve but not gathered at the end so I am thinking I'm just going to hem the bottom of this sleeve and they'll be butterfly sleeves it's also really comfortable and loose and I'm thinking that I will wear this when I go to the wild animal park for a family trip that is planned later on and is coming up sometime soon so I think I might wear this there. It's a super comfy dress and I think it'll be really, really nice to wear out and it's really cute. I do think it's a bummer though that I had just finished <laughs> sewing this cuff and I finished it by hand and then I'm like, you know what? I actually don't like that and I just cut it off. <laughs> um, that was my hand stitching to finish the inside. Um, I will be making my husband a Hawaiian shirt soon, so if you like watching men's clothing I'm probably gonna make a video of that I'm gonna make him like um, technically the pattern that I have from vintage patterns the one that will fit him uh, the only one that goes to like a 46 inch chest is a kind of a Western style looking one but I think I'll be able to use it to make that Animal Crossing uh, Hawaiian looking fabric into like a Hawaiian shirt with stylized lines <laughs> um, so we'll see um, I'll probably work on that after I finish this.